Hi everybody, it's Kailara, and thank you for stopping in and uh, sharing some of your day with me. I wanted to come on and uh, tell you all about this great product that was delivered to my house today. As most colorists know, it's really, really difficult to get a pencil sharpener that works, works consistently, doesn't chew up our pencils and use them up before we do, and getting a very nice point on our pencils. I personally have bought one electronic one that was about $40 Canadian, um, and I have bought a bunch of handheld ones, and I would say that I probably have 10 of those. I had um, the Teagull one, this one, and I do like it, but I find that it doesn't get me the point that I would like it to get, and I, you know, even using the settings that I do, and I, I find it wastes a lot. When I was at Walmart, I found this, and it, it, it wasn't really expensive, I'm trying to get it without the glare here. It's called Bow Stitch is the company and it's called Twist and Sharp it, Sharp. And it has a little dial on the front so you can get a decent um, point or you can get a, a rounded edge. So I do like this one and I liked it for a long time. And then I tried to put a pencil in that had a bigger diameter and it seemed to have knocked the mechanism on the inside off a little bit. So it still works, but you know, it could work better. So if I find another one of these, I'll probably pick it up. And last but not least, I think it was about a month ago, I uh, purchased my first M&R pencil sharpener. Now this is a dream. If you guys have issues with handheld uh, sharpeners, do check out the M&Rs. They come, you can get replacement blades for them. They have a decent weight and they sharpen like a dream. And it has the two, the two sizes for your pencils. And like I said, works amazing, but not why I'm making this video. So I was watching a video the other day and the for the life of me I can't remember who it was but I'll try and find out and I will link it at the bottom of this video once I I do hopefully I won't forget and uh, she had asked a bunch of her artist friends what pencil sharpening they use now as you know a lot of people who do colored pencil portraits and fet pet photos and all that they are they need a sharp point and they need a very reliable pencil sharpener because as you know our art supplies are not cheap so you don't want to waste them so anyway she asked a couple of her artist friends and multiple people um, suggested this and like I said I just got this today and here's what it's called it is called Carl is the brand angel-5 is the name now this is all metal except for the little plastic tray and it has got a nice weight to it it does come with the clamp so that you can clamp it onto your desk for your surface that you work on and then it'll be you know it'll stay in its spot but my easel, I don't really want to clamp anything onto it, so I will just use mine this way. Now, it has helixo blades inside, and they chew up a lot less of the wood of our pencils than normal ones. As you can see, you push from the back, and that tray with all your shavings comes out. You just dump it into the garbage. 
and slide it back in. So let me show you. So here is a pencil that I have that I've only done a swatch swatch on, but it had come, these come pre-sharpened and it had come broken. I'm not sure if you can see that. So it came broken. So you can see it doesn't have a good edge. And for those of you who have not seen how these work, you push these two buttons together and pull out and there it sits like that I push it together again and I place my pencil into the sharpener and let go now as I sharpen this and it is a manual as I sharpen this this here plate will go closer and closer feeding the pencil into the sharpener and another thing I, I like about this sharpener is it's not loud loud you know it's got a decent sound to it but it could I've heard much worse so I'm going to go for this pencil I'm gonna go until the machine stops machine will stop cutting your pencil when it's at its peak so as you can see the pencil is still going and I think it may be finished. You will be able to feel the difference when it's it has hit its max. So let's just push this out of the way because I really want you to see this. Can you see just how long everything's flashed out here? Can you see just how long that pencil is? And it has a bit of strength to the end. I have yet to um, sharpen a point this long and have it snap when I started to color. Um, I also don't often go to the very end to when it stops sharpening. I will go in and I will do a decent amount, maybe three or four turns, pull a pencil out, take a good look at it. And if I feel it needs a bit more, I'll put it back in and give it a couple more turns. Um, and I also am finding that these points last a long time so I'm not sharpening nearly as much as I sharpened before. Here are some of the pencils that I've been using on my latest picture and you can see there are still quite decent points on these pencils. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So if you are having issues getting your pencils sharpened without a lot of waste, please consider this. I will mark it down below the link, but the link will probably be a Canadian link because we're Canadian and so when I go into Amazon it shows me what's available here. Um, but if you want to do a search in your own country's Amazon, search for Carl Angel 5 Sharpener or Manual Sharpener. I absolutely love this and I give this a 10 out of 10 for effectiveness, design. I, like I said, I like the, the uh, weight of it. It does come in a couple different colors if that's an important thing for you and uh, if you decide to buy one of these based on my recommendation please let me know and I'd like to hear what you think about your new sharpener thank you so much for dropping in I hope that you hit the thumbs up button and give me a like so that my videos will be um, ranked higher in the search engine as well as if you're new here hello and welcome um, Please feel free to browse some of my other videos. I do live stream occasionally, uh, but due to my illnesses, that hasn't been happening a lot lately, hence why I've been recording vid videos for you. I have some videos that I have done already and I'm in the editing process, so hopefully I'll be able to post those shortly. So if you haven't been here before, please think about hitting that subscribe button if you're a colorist. And, uh, that's it for now. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until I see you next time, be well, be kind, be positive.